Hey guys, AquaDuelist here, and the camera's deciding not to be special. Good. Um, <clears throat> so, briefly before I talk about the, um, f you know, just the fish in general, um, really awesome that Konami finally printed uh, Fortress Whale over here. 2019, we finally got Fortress Whale. Oh man, this is great. <laughs> As, um, even though it's a really old, bad uh, Ritual Monster 23... Uh, 50 attack, and it's a level 7 fish. Uh, Crab Turtle is just much better, but, you know. <laughs> um, really cool to see it get printed finally, because before it was only printed in tournament pack 3 as a super, and they are currently $400, and I'm not spending $400 for a super f fortress whale. That's just how it is. Um... So, yeah, just really awesome to see that, and, um, funny thing is, I think it was Jesse Cotton, he made a deck profile, or he made a deck around Fortress Whale at the time, um, it was on, uh, Triff Gaming's channel, I believe, uh, ended up making a U-Link board because of Fortress Whale being a level 7 fish, so, yeah, um, obviously it's not viable anymore, because, uh, what you gonna call it, uh, Tomahawk got banned, but, you know, it's a level 7 fish. There's still some applications you can do with it, so, yeah, I just wanted to say that real quick. But, going on to the main thing, um, fish, I feel like, aren't something necessarily to be slept on, um, because I've kind of noticed, and I, I know Konami does this, um, here and there, but they kind of take things, and rather than, you know, release them all at once, they're like, oh, you know, like, here's one or two cards, in this set, and then, like, Dustons, for example. Dustons, I think, got one card, like, every two to three sets before they were, you know, they were actually viable, and then, you know, Lynx came out and destroyed them. They're no longer viable, which sucks. But, um... Fish have been getting some really good support lately. Uh, we got... White, uh, white fish salvage, um, continuous spell. You can add a fish from your graveyard to, uh, or from your graveyard to your hand, and then, uh, if your opponent destroys it, you can add a, any fish from your deck or special summon it. So, right there, that's, I think, a really, really good card for fish. Um, I mean, although they, they need more just fish monsters for the main deck, really, because I feel like there could be just a lot. I feel like they, they need more, uh, better main deck monsters, essentially. But they still have some really cool stuff. And then, you know, we got, um, the new White Aura, um, Synchro, which is pretty good. And then we also got, uh, White Howling, which is an amazing card that Fish could definitely take advantage of, um, because, you know, it's just generic water support. So... With this being like, I, I just kind of wanted to point this stuff out real quick, um, because if Konami keeps going on with the uh, fish support, you know, like a card here and a card there, and it's been recent, like, because um, Dark Neo Storm is when um, White Fish Salvage came out, and then we got the White or the new uh, White Aura Monster uh, with was it Rising Rampage, so. Hopefully they can they keep continuing with it. That's what I'm hoping. Um because if it keeps going, they could actually be a solid deck, I think. Like a actually just really good solid uh probably like rogue deck on the uh casual well not casual, like the local level. Um maybe we could get somewhere with a YCS, maybe I I, I don't know. I kinda feel like it's not gonna be that good. But who knows? Um, water has always been like one of those decks where, or like just attributes where it just kind of gets like the, at least to me, it feel like, feels like it gets the most support. That and Earth. Earth are like the two most, just generic, uh, two attributes that get the most generic support. So, but I did want to point that out. I don't think it's something to essentially sleep on. Just kind of keep an eye on the stuff. Like, keep an eye on, you know, each set as it comes out. And just see if, you know, they keep it up. Look, see what's there uh, for fish. Because I feel like they could, they're probably going to keep doing it. Um, you know, look at, like, like dust-ons and that kind of stuff. Where it was one card here, another card there for so long. So, something I wanted to point out. Um... 
So what are y'all's thoughts on just the fish uh, in general? Um, probably a lot of people aren't going to watch this video, but it's I felt like it was something worth noting in a sense. So, But what are y'all's thoughts? Uh, do you guys think fish... Um, do you think they're going to keep up with the fish support? You know, card here, card there. Um, and do you guys think... What, what would you guys like to see for fish in general? To be honest, I I, I really just want to see some uh, some really good main deck monsters because I feel like they they don't have enough in a sense. Um, so yeah, and if you guys like this video, give it a like, and then if you guys want to see more of my content, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys for watching.